guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I am going to do a review of the um, Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, World's Most Powerful Facial. And I picked this up from Amazon. I was just like looking through Amazon one day and I was looking through like the facial like masks. So I was like looking for a new mask. And I stumbled upon this one and it is a best seller on Amazon and it was only like ten dollars and you get you get a powder and now that you mix it with water. It says on the instructions that you can mix it with either water or apple cider vinegar. But I did see one of the reviews that it said that they tried it with apple cider vinegar and it gave them like a burn on their face. Like a chemical burn. So I'm going to avoid that for the first time that I'm trying it. Um, because I obviously don't want to get a chemical burn. And I'm supposed to go to work after this. So it says that this is the um, ingredients. It only has natural calci calcium bentonite. Which is a green clay. And it says that this is the new version 2. Custom shrink wrap and non-tear calcium bentonite clay security uh, sticker and it did have like a sticker uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it right here um, that I had to like rip it open and it says um, safety warning do not leave clay mask on skin longer than five to ten minutes for delicate skin as this may cause redness drying um, redness slash drying it says slight redness of skin is normal and will disappear in about 30 minutes Please conduct a forearm skin patch to test prior to facial use to test for allergic reactions or sensitivity. It's sun-dried, no fragrances, no animal testing, no animal products, no additives. And yeah, I mean, the only ingredient is the natural calcium bentonite. So in the instructions, it says, fill your face, pulsate, directions, mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water. Works best with apple cider vinegar, but like I said, I'm going to skip it and I'm just, I'm going to use uh, water for this first time that I'm trying it. Use a non-metal bowl and utensil. Mix, uh, stir, sear the mixture well to a smooth paste. Add more clay or liquid as needed. Apply one eighth to one fourth inch to the face or other area. Let dry for ten, uh, five to ten minutes for delicate skin and fifteen to twenty minutes for normal skin. I don't have sensitive skin when it comes to like uh, masks. I've tried very like many different masks and I don't. I've never gotten like a reaction, so I'll just try it for the 20 minutes. Obviously, if my skin starts to burn or I start feeling something that is not like common when it comes to like a mask, then I'll obviously take it off. Uh, you will feel a pulling and tightening sensation. Feel your face pulsate. Remove clay by washing with warm water. Use once per week for normal skin and more often for problem skin. I have seen uh, the reviews on Amazon and it did say that a lot of people that have actual like uh, either acne, like really bad acne uh, or problematic acne and uh, like acne scarring, it has helped them a lot. So I mean, if you do suffer from like acne, um, I mean, you can give this a try. Like I said, it's only $10. This is for deep pore cleansing. And it says that it is the world's most popular facial. So I have a little cup of water here. And I have a little plastic container. And I have my favorite uh, brush to apply like masks. This is the um, Real Techniques uh, Pointed Foundation brush, brush. Which is just a very tiny like brush. But I love this because I just feel like it, it can get really like close to areas. I'm going to pour a little bit onto the container. So as far as like imperfections, my skin has been doing pretty well. It has been more on the dry side just because of the weather. Um, I don't have a lot of imperfections. I do have one by my lip and one here, right here actually. And then one right in the middle of my cupid's bow. But it's going to be that time of the month, so... I'm guessing it's because of that. With any mask, you want to start with a clean face. Obviously, you don't want to like, you know, put on the mask and you haven't like cleansed your face. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a bun because I'm gonna be taking a shower while this is drying, and then one, and then I can just remove it inside the shower. I have so many baby hairs. It's so annoying. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little bit of like chunks, but I try to like, I try to un, 
like dissolve them with like water and like just pushing on them and they didn't want to come out so I don't know it doesn't have a uh, like a smell to it I wear makeup like six five to six times a week so I like my full like full foundation but I would recommend doing a deep pour cleansing mask at least once a week if you do wear like a lot of makeup like me now I got in my hair because you need a clean I mean obviously you're cleansing your face every day you're taking you're taking that makeup off at the end of the day or your night and so you want to assure that you're gonna you know you're cleaning your pores once in a while I feel like it's already getting tight around my um, like my mouth area I'm gonna actually gonna clean my lips and I already see that it's like drying around my my lips so I'm gonna put in a timer for 20 minutes Okay, so I'm going to put a timer for 20 minutes, and once it's, like, dry after the 20 minutes, I'll come back and, like, check in with you guys, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so I have about, um, nine and a half minutes or so, so I'm going to, I can barely talk, I'm going to go take a shower, um, by the time I, like, take off my clothes and everything, it's going to be already time to, like, wash it off, so I'm going to go in, take a shower real quick, and then... I'll be right back with kind of like how my face and feels and everything. So, all right. So, I took a shower. My row again. I need to get ready to go to work. It's so smooth. It feels. It's a little dry. I'm gonna say I feel a little dry. So I'm gonna moisturize them a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but like on the edges of my face, right here, it's a little red. So I don't know if my skin right here got a little like irritated by the mask but like overall i mean i just say that you can see a little bit of redness on your skin like 30 minutes after you applied it why i'm not night in focus but i can definitely feel a difference on my skin it actually feels clean it feels really really nice um i can definitely see the size of my pores definitely like got smaller like I can tell you for a fact that I can see like I can barely see my pores that is for sure if you are looking to like purchase this mask I'm gonna link it down below from Amazon and I really recommend it I feel like like I said at least doing a deep pore cleansing mask at least once a week if you do wear a lot of makeup even if you don't just maintaining your pores clean um, after all of, you know being outside and just doing a mask once a week a deep pore deep pore cleansing mask I think it's gonna really help your skin like I said this um, this mask, I've seen a lot of people with acne use it, so I will definitely recommend that. If you do have really, really sensitive skin, I recommend to use it with water and just use it for 5 to 10 minutes. And then just with warm water, just take it off like smoothly. I did take a shower and that felt a little bit nicer to be in the shower with all this steam. And just take that and like rub it off and like just take it off. It feels really, really nice. So I definitely recommend that as well. If you do have any recommendations for masks and you want me to review them, please leave them down in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!